What's going on folks? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. This is the final. This is not a beta. This is the public version of iOS 5.0.1 for your iPhone, iPod Touch, etc. So first of all, let's go ahead and put our device into DFU mode. Hold home plus power for 10 seconds simultaneously. And then after 10 seconds, let go of the power button while holding home. Continue to hold home. Eventually your phone or device will go into DFU mode. Now on Red Snow 0.9.9 .9 Beta 8, go to Extra, select IPSW, and choose your 5.0 firmware here. You need the 5.0 firmware. Click Open. It'll successfully identify your 5.0 firmware. And then go ahead and click Back, and then select Jailbreak. Now you need to identify the 5.0 firmware because Red Snow has not been updated. Once 0.9.9 .9 Beta 9 comes out, then you'll be able to use the 5.0.1 firmware. But until then, you need 5.0. Zero. So make sure you install Cydia is checked on this box. Click next. Since your phone is already in DFU mode, it'll just go ahead and start processing your build. It'll start exploiting with line rain, uploading the first and second stages, etc. etc. And then we should be good to go. So this will just take a few more seconds. You'll in a few you'll notice your device will reboot and then you'll have your normal jailbreak activity. It's uploading the RAM disk now. So let's head over. Let's put our iPhone in a little box here, and there you're gonna see the iPhone rebooting. You'll get this notice in Red Snow that this is a tethered jailbreak like I told you at the beginning. It is not untethered, so keep that in mind. There is the RAM disk upload, and uh, let's go back. There's matrix mode. Let's just get ready. Go back to select IPSW for our tethered boot. Select, of course, the 5.0 firmware again, and let's go ahead and zoom in. There is matrix mode. I'm gonna speed this up a bit just for your benefit here. And let's get right to our lock screen. There it is. There's a lock screen. So now you see the Cydia icon is white, indicating we need to do a tether boot. So back in the DFU mode right now. So I'm just going to put the device back in the DFU mode. And then we can go ahead and proceed with our tether boot. So let's head back over to Red Snow and proceed. Just click Just Boot on the Extras menu. It'll go through its spill because, as I said, we're already in DFU mode. So this makes it really easy. You don't have to worry about putting it into DFU mode right here. It should do it automatically. So I'm going to exploit with Line Rain again, and in a few seconds you should notice your phone rebooting, and this time we'll be able to use Cydia. So this will just take a second. I'm going to speed it up here. There's the boot logo, and here we are. There we are at our lock screen. Let's unlock it. And it looks like it's taking a while. I got a little presumptuous, but there we go. So there is a city icon ready to go. That is how you jailbreak iOS 5.0.1. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.